Hi there, and welcome to this Point Fuse workflow video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can clash against your reality capture data using model coordination in Autodesk Construction Cloud. The starting point for today's video is that I have a couple of Revit projects that have some uh, very basic structural design modifications and some additional services. Uh, I also have the corresponding point cloud that's been converted into a point fuse mesh and that I've quickly classified into some basic layers such as structural and MEP. Finally, I have an Autodesk Construction Cloud project ready to go with model coordination and docs already switched on. Before I get started bringing point cloud data into this, what you we first need to do is actually set up our model coordination spaces. Uh, so I have got a demo one set up, but I'll start one from scratch uh, and create a new folder. Um, gonna call that 02MC video for model coordination. And actually within that folder, I am gonna add an existing and a uh, design folder as well, so I can keep the two uh, Revit projects separate. What you then want to do is you then want to go to the model coordination tab. You want to go to settings and then create, uh, fill in the details and create a new uh, model space. So for this, I'm going to pick that, that top folder of zero uh, two model coordination video. Cool. Once that's created, what you then want to do is go back to your, uh, go back to the doc section and I'm going to upload my two designed Revit, my two Revit design files. Again, once those are processed, if we go back to the model coordination space, we can see that a clash detection has been run uh, and we can view those two projects side by side. So that's kind of the workflow that you'd use if you're just bringing, to, bringing together the different Revit projects that are coming in from your different subcontractors. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can add your point cloud data into that existing process. And to do that, we're going to be using a combination of point views and uh, the, the free to use point views Revit plugin uh, and therefore also Autodesk Revit. So I'm just going to jump back into point views for a second. So as I said, I've already created this mesh and I've already classified it to some basic to some basic layers. So the structural and the MEP, those are going to be important because realistically, they're the sort of layers that you want to be clashing against. What you don't want to be clashing against is, is all of your unclassified uh, features. If I switch everything else on, in fact, I, you almost want to keep those unclassified things off because that's lots of noise. It's going to produce lots of false positives if you coordinate against it anyway. What you then want to do is you then want to hit the Revit button just at the top. I want to choose a safe location. And then you want to, again, you just get to double check exactly which layers you're going to export. So I'm actually going to leave that unclassified behind, behind hit OK, and a PRF file will be created that we can link into uh, Revit. So if we go into one of our Revit projects here, I've got just a couple of floating services. I'm going to navigate to the Point Views plugin, choose Link Point Views Coordination Model, uh, and press Add Model, uh, and then just find that file that we created, that PRF file. Press OK, and I'm just going to link that with share coordinates just so we can view the two uh, side by side. So you get, I get my window on the right hand side here. Uh, so as you can see, we've got uh, some nicely aligned uh, reality capture data that's sitting against our design data here. That's all very well and good in Revit. We can visually coordinate against it there. But what we actually want to do is we actually want to uh, clash against this in model coordination. Uh, and so to do that, what we really need to do is we need to get this mesh data into the Revit file. So what I'm not, what I don't want to do, as you may or may not be aware, if I was to throw an entire project of mesh into Revit, it's going to really bog down the project. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to mess up our existing uh, Revit projects. What we actually want to do is we want to just start a new one. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go into a new project and just press OK. And this is where the classification becomes uh, really, really interesting because rather than coordinate, coordinating against the entire point cloud, uh, which isn't going to be particularly helpful, uh, the classification is going to allow me to create separate Revit files for those different categories. Uh, and therefore that model coordination can be a lot more beneficial to, uh, to the BIM coordinators uh, and actually useful rather than completely uh, useless. So here we go, I'm just going to go into uh, 3D view, I'm going to hit uh, point views, going to do the same again. So link my coordination model. So there's that, there's that file again. Uh, press OK. Uh, and so this time, rather than switch it on, what I'm actually going to do is use this add to document option. Uh, and what that's going to let me do is bring a layer into the model. So I'm going to choose the structural layer. 
Uh, I'm going to pick a category. So I'm just going to use structural framing. It's probably incorrect. Um, apologies. Uh, and then I'm going to hit OK. And what that's done is it's just bought that mesh information as objects into this uh, into this new Revit project. Uh, then what I'm going to do, so it's nice and clear, I'm just going to remove the linked coordination model. Uh, and then I'm going to save this as existing structural and hit save. What I can then do is I can then repeat that for the MEP model, which is exactly what I've done here. So here I've got those services in the same way, mesh data bought into just a new project and saved, saved to something separate. If we now switch back to Construction Cloud and head over to our doc section again, so here, this is where it's quite useful to keep your design and existing is separate, uh, separate folders. But remember that the coordination space is actually at this top level. So now all I need to do is bring our existing uh, services and our existing structural layers through into Construction Cloud and just give those a minute to upload and process. Okay, great. So those have now uploaded. So I've got my existing, I've got my two design now what I can do is go back to model coordination. There we can see that I've got those four models. So example and, and design and existing. Uh, and if I go into clashes, here we can see we've created that matrix. So a nice example is if I now go into my design services and my existing structure, we can see all of those coordination issues um, here in front of us. And they're grouped extremely sensibly by type. Fantastic. So that's what I wanted to show you today. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.